Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another exciting video on his YouTube channel. Today we are gonna talk about what is VFD. What are the hardware components inside the VFD and where exactly we use them. Before we start today's video, I request you if you like our videos and if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, consider subscribing this channel and don't forget to turn on notifications. If you will hit the bell icon, you will be notified whenever there will be any informative video from IT and Automation Academy. So what is actually VFT? VFT or Variable Frequency Drive is a motor controller that is used to run a motor at variable speed by varying its frequency. Now let's get into the hardware of VFT. What is inside the VFT? First of all, when AC signal is injected into the VFT, it have to pass through the diodes. What is the purpose of diode? Diodes are there just to convert the AC signal coming in to DC. The DC signal that we are getting from the output of diodes is not very clean so that's why we need to have a capacitor here the purpose of the capacitor here is to clean the dc the output that will come from the capacitor will be very nice and clean then the signal that is coming from the capacitor is passed through the transistors there are six transistor or igbt's that are there when this signal is passed through these transistor it is converted back to ac we have to understand that transistor or igbt's here are acting as a switches by using these switches we are actually controlling the frequency of motor which at the end control the speed of motor as you know the basics of physics the frequency is directly proportional to speed if frequency goes high speed will go high if frequency go down speed will go down in another words we can say that by switching these switches or igbt's we create any frequency we like and that frequency will vary the speed accordingly in short we can say that we have three elements in that first of all is rectifier and then dc bus system and then inverter in rectification process we have six diode and role of these diodes is just to convert AC signal to DC signal. As this DC signal is not very nice and clean, it's a bit choppy signal. That's why we are using capacitor. So in DC bus, we are using a capacitor to clean that DC signal. So now at the output, we have a more clean and nice signal. And now this signal is passed through the inverter where we have IGBTs or transistor. And the role of these IGBTs and transistor is to convert that signal back to AC. And now this AC signal is ready for your motor to use. Now let's talk about some industrial applications where we are actually using VFTs. Let's go to the packing industry and try to find whether we are using any VFTs there. Yes, in conveyor systems, we are using VFTs. And what is the benefit of using VFTs? By using VFTs, conveyor speed can be changed to the most suitable value according to the workpiece. VFT is also allowing us for the soft start and stop and that prevents the products from falling down. VFTs are variable frequency drives help us to control the speed of motor in conveyor system by controlling the speed of motor we achieve a soft start and soft stop it helps us to prevent the objects from falling down and wobbling shocks to the machines are observed and acceleration and deceleration is free of the shocks as you can see here the conveyor belt is not running at the moment so we will ask the operator to start the conveyor belt you can see the conveyor belt it started it is gradually increasing the speed and hence giving us a smooth start now we will ask the operator to stop the conveyor belt and now you can see here the conveyor belt will not stop suddenly it will stop smoothly and there will be no jerks observed there will be no wobbling in the bottles in industrial application by using vfts we are achieving smooth start and stop if we talk about oil and gas industry where we have to control fans and pumps and that is achieved by using vfts also there are too many other applications where we are using vfts we will talk about in detail in separate section on vfts application in industries 